Welcome to Financial Accounting, presented by Professor Aldridge and yours truly, Bean Counters, Dave Marshall. A sincere thank you goes to Professor Aldridge for allowing me to pre present his excellent lecture series on financial accounting. The lectures break accounting down into small and easily digestible bites. Buckle up and enjoy the ride. Accrual Accounting and the Cash Basis of Accounting Let's compare the two, starting with accrual accounting. Transactions are recorded in the period in which they occur. So we record revenues in the period in which they are earned, not just when cash is received. We record expenses in the period in which they are incurred, not just when cash is paid. For the cash basis of accounting, Revenues are recorded when cash is received, and expenses are recorded when cash is paid. The result of this method, the cash basis of accounting, is that our financial statements are less accurate. Revenues and expenses reported in a month when cash is received or paid might not provide investors and creditors with the best performance information about our company, and likely lead to overstated or understated amounts on our balance sheet. Thus, the cash basis of accounting is not GAAP approved and cannot be used for any company that is required to prepare financial statements in accordance to GAAP. It is usually used by small businesses and hobbyists who don't know anything about accounting. After just one accounting course, college students would know enough not to operate a business using the cash basis of accounting. Let's think of this example. Assume you are a realtor. You talk on the phone all during the month of July to close a sale that earns you $5,000. You get paid in August. You receive July's cell phone bill of $100 in August, but you pay it in September. Let's look at how these would be recorded under the accrual accounting and the cash basis of accounting. Under accrual accounting, both the revenue of $5,000 and the expense of $100 but would be recorded in the month of July because revenue was earned in July and the cell phone expense was incurred in July. Under the cash basis of accounting, the revenue and expense are all over the place. The revenue of $5,000 would be earned in August. The expense of $100 would be recorded in the month of September. Basically, it would look like you did absolutely nothing during the month of July. Do you see the problem with the cash basis of accounting? Your investors and creditors have less valuable information because it doesn't reflect what you actually did during the month of July. And that concludes this short video on the differences between accrual accounting and the cash basis of accounting.